So, und da sind wir auch wieder bei The Walking Dead. Und natürlich, ah, Timer. So. Und dann wollen wir mal gucken, ob wir hier irgendwas reißen können. Ein Bild. Not exactly my style. Meiner auch nicht. Ich würde mir sowas nicht hinhängen. Da schien aber eine nette Familie zu sein. So, guck mal mal. Öffnen wir mal diese Tür. Nothing hiding in here. Das ist gut. Nichts ist immer gut. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Ja, noch eine Tür zu checken. Aber zuerst gucken wir uns natürlich wieder ein bisschen um. Quatsch noch kurz mit Clementine. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Alles klar. So, haben uns rumgeportet, alles klar. So, das ist zum Garten. Oben gucken ja äh, Kenny und Ben nach. Und dann gucken wir jetzt hier. Oh nein, ein Mob. What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Na dann wollen wir mal. Was kann denn schon da oben gefährliches für den, für den alten Kenny äh, schon sein? Der hat ja bisher alles überlebt. Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Tja, der ist verhungert. Kinda looks like Duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can do it, Lee. Not, not again. I can't ask you to go through this again. Let me take care of it. Are you sure? 
I guess we'll find out. Genau. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. Ja, wir wollen ja jetzt hier nicht unnötig Lärm machen, von daher würde ich sagen, ähm, entweder Fuß oder ne, zertreten oder ich würde mal sagen, wir schlagen ihn einfach. I'm sorry. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. Ja, ich muss sagen, neben seinen Hund begraben, das ist so das Optimalste. Nee, noch mal ansehen, nee. Das muss ich jetzt nicht noch mal geben. Wir haben ihn ja gesehen. Von daher. Und zu damit. Ach so. lieber nicht sagen, das lockt uns nur unnötig tot an. Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it! 
We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only checked the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Well, you search it if you wanna. I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place where I more... said I'm done with this house! We can do both, Ben. You take one last look around the place, grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it, it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? No offense, Ben, but I'd feel safer if you stayed here. How am I supposed to not take offense to that? What am I, a liability? Great. Just great. Thanks a lot for the vote of confidence. Confidence is earned, Ben. And you've got a long way to go to earn yours back after some of the stuff you've pulled. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Tja, da Ben hat auch ganz ordentlich äh, Steck, äh, Dreck am Stecken gehabt. Für einen kleinen Schuljungen. Infected. Alles abgeschraubt, was man brauchen könnte. your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Son of a bitch! That bastard's fucking with us again! It's another trap! No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? I have no idea, but someone must be ringing those bells. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan! 
It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. This one might still be salvageable. Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Na, dann wollen wir das mal tun. So, hier ist das Fernrohr. Äh, bist du das Fernglas? Was ist denn hier los? So kind of warning would we'll do something like this. Ich werde den nicht abknallen, das kannst du vergessen. What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. So, aber zunächst tun wir es mit dem Fernglas das Ufer ab. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Damn. Built solid. Das ist richtig, so einfach kommen wir das mal nicht ran. Eine Markierung. Ui, da noch was. Kasse. Vielleicht ist da ein Viertel Dollar drin. Hello, beautiful. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Empty. Somebody already cleaned this place out. Ja, wer klaut denn zu einer Apokalypse schon Geld? Someone already looted the place. Hm, nicht mal Comics da. Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. You got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. Das ist ja das volle Möhren hier rausgegangen. Looks like it's still intact. Locked. Gewalt. Na bitte, damit haben wir jetzt unseren so Viertel Dollar. Ich glaube doch mal, das ist ein Viertel Dollar. Ich kenne mich jetzt mit den mit der amerikanischen Währung jetzt nicht so dollar aus. Zumindest nicht mit der Optik. Aber es scheint einer zu sein. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death.
Hm, na dann schauen wir mal. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. Oh. What the hell? Get down! Get down! Na nu, was denn das? Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? We didn't come here looking for trouble. Yeah, well it seems to have a way of finding us anyways. Look, this could be the guy from the radio. The one who's been messing with us. If he is, we can put an end to it. Right now. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet. Taken by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Okay. Autsch, das war zu spät. No! Clem? Please, don't hurt him! You're not from Crawford. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Kenny, don't! No, he's with us! Who the hell are you people? Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? 
Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick? Anyone too old? Anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive? To them, those people were just mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raised the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. <laughs> That's pretty smart with the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? We're just trying to survive, same as you. And the only way we're gonna survive is by getting on a boat and getting the hell out of here. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before- Great. Just great. Oh, Isn't that the- The way we came. Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a- You're just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here! Please! <sighs> Come on! Make it fast! Oh, fuck me! Come on, come on, hurry! Come on, man. One good jump. No, Pete! Hurry! 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 Can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open! Lee! Yeah, I was one of my good <laughs> Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Shit. Das könnte man so bezeichnen, ja. Ich hoffe, wir sehen uns in der nächsten Folge wieder. Bis dann. Ciao.